Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us for the Envelope Live screening series. I'm Robert Abley, a contributing writer at The Envelope. And today we'll be talking about the film The Intruder, which is Argentina's submission for the uh, Best International Feature Oscar. Joining us will be the film's director, Natalia Mehta, who also co-wrote the screenplay, and two of its stars, Erica Rivas, who plays the lead character, Inez, a singer and voice actress going through some very strange things, and Daniel Hendler, who plays Inez's perhaps overly attentive lover, Leopoldo. One way to describe Mehta's atmospheric suspense film is that it's about a woman who goes through something traumatic and um, finds her life terrifyingly changed by it, but there's uh, much more to this movie. Uh, it's also like a psychological landscape of sounds, dreams, sensuality. It's a genre-bending movie. So welcome, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome, uh, Daniel, Natalia, and Erica. Um, thanks for being here, and congratulations on this uh, strange, funny, sexy, um, mysterious movie. <laughs> Um, I'll start with you, Natalia. Um, what intrigued you about Inez's story? Uh, I know it's based on a book, but what, what made you want to turn this story into a movie? Mm, eh, I, I, I was very intrigued by, by the, the, like the core of the, the novel regarding the, the characters who, who like step into our, our life from, from a dreamlike reality and want to stay here. And want to like take possession of 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 our our lives, and this was this was quite intriguing for me. And also, I I thought about how how this could could be told in a different way, which wouldn't um, which wouldn't uh, be so uh, harsh on on women's desire. No, if I could if I could tell this this story of uh, and bend it or change it a little bit so that. Uh, the, this idea that is so present in, in horror stories about uh, like some some kind of evil um, a desire in 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 relation with sexuality could could be seen in a different light, and that is what made also I think in a way uh, a, like put a, a different is stress different points in, 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 in the idea of, 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 of genre and, and the idea of, of how a, a horror story is told or how it ends or which are the turning points. Erica, is that what you saw when you got this screenplay? How did you come to this project? Mm, I think that it was very interesting for me in that moment of my life because I think that it's very interesting to to tell about woman desire and how is the how we can manage the love in these ages. And I think that it that's what I I I I I, I wanted to do that and after that, I, I, I realized that it, it was very interesting for me to, to have um, psycho love movie. <laughs> and that <laughs> was very interesting too. And, and it's a little bit funny to, uh, to do that. To, to play with all the actors that are, are, are amazing and very funny too. And that's something that interesting me. Natalia, how would you describe who Inez is in this movie and what she's going through? Yes, now, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to say that after a lot of interviews and talking about the film, I think that a psychosexual love story is the best description <laughs> and we just arrived <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I'm very happy. <laughs> Erika, you are great. Um, so uh, what, what was the question again, sorry? Oh, just who do you, who, how would you describe who Inez is and what she's going through? I think she's, she's, it's, like uh, she's she's a woman who is who is in the typical um, 
roles which society uh, uh, classically asks from her. She's going on a trip with her new boyfriend and he's quite possessive. He's a bit of a pest. And it all seems like like a bit of a, a, a classical comedy where but but the 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 violence, the the I think you call it gaslighting or something like that in in, in America. This this small micro violence is 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 creeping. And the, then the 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 fantastic element uh, starts to to appear too. And uh, these things uh, start working in, in, in the film and, and start working in, in Ines' heart. I think that her desires as a woman are not going to bend so easily towards what is expected from her. And this is, this is I think, what, what she is. She's someone who's trying to, to fit in, but doesn't really want to, and is courageous enough to, um, to stop being afraid of, of, of what we are usually uh, supposed to be. Daniel, you have a, a funny character. You, your, your, your boyfriend is um, romantic, but also insistent, um, kind of, and possessive as, as Natalia said, but then he, you know, then he becomes something else entirely. So can you talk about this character as you saw him? Yes, well, the, 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 the most uh, difficult and uh, point of the character, I think, is the ambiguous uh, uh, conception, because uh, probably uh, it, it was uh, easy to take a, a shortcut and, and, um, and uh, show a jealous and, and violent guy, but uh, he's also charismatic and, and charming. And this is a way uh, uh, to, to show other kinds of violence and uh, not so easy to judge him. So, uh, so this contradiction for actors, of course, are the most interesting part. So did you all have conversations about this on the set? Uh, you know, just got the kind of these relationships and, and what Inez is going through. Did, did you have interesting conversations about it? Of course, of course, because uh, all, all, all the characters in, in the movie, uh, I think we are ghosts, uh, um, Inez ghosts, uh, Inez monsters. We are in her mind. So, uh, Erika's point of view was, uh, of course, very important for us uh, to take um, uh, part of it. And, and, and uh, it was very interesting with Natalia. We, we rehearsed a lot uh, and, and Natalia ha ha had a great patience and great uh, <laughs> and a lot of times, a lot of time uh, to 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 get what what she want and, and but it's great when when you are working with people that uh, have uh, enough time to to get what what they want and they maybe they don't know exactly uh, what they want but but they know when they uh, get it <laughs> I mean, Thank Natalia, you. I mean, a movie like this, when you're playing with what's real and what isn't, uh, do you come to the set knowing what you want or do you let instinct kind of tell you what to shoot that day? Well, for me, it's only, always mainly instinct, no? It's it's a, a work of uh, of love, <laughs> really, because more, than, more than, than, than technique, because it's very difficult to find the right... Um, the right doses of, of of each element you need to to have in in each scene. So so really, I think you have to resort to intuition. And in this sense, we the, the actors helped me a lot, and they were had a lot of patience. And I think what Danny said is, is true. It was very difficult to know in advance what I had to find, but I, I we we found it. 
uh, wow. we find it we found it finally working working a lot i if i have to say something about the 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 process is that i think it works to like you know to to break your head how you say in, in argentina and to to work a lot even if it's hard because it's hard because everything has to be very fast in film uh I, I studied philosophy, so I always mm. I'm against uh, doing things <laughs> quickly. Uh, I, 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 I am not used to it really. It's not in, in, in me, but I, I, I have to do it, but I try to bring this to the, to the set and I, I think it, it, it was at least for me, it was it was wonderful. I know they had to I, they, the actors needed a lot of patience and I'm absolutely grateful. No, it was uh, it was a pleasure because uh, Natalia invited us to doubt with her, but she knows in 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 one space she knows exactly uh, uh, where uh, uh, she was invited uh, inviting us. But but it was uh, just take time and 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 in and giving sp give space to the breathe. You know, uh, we we worked. Uh, with our breath or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> to, me, to me, doubt is good because it's the first step for freedom. You know, if you don't doubt, doubt is not, it doesn't have a, a, a like, it's it's not really uh, what, what one, one would uh, like to have when one gets into the set because you have to decide very quickly. But I think that, uh, and this is an idea about how you should direct. I think in a, it's an idea that has a lot to do with, I don't know how you say the word in English, but with the uh, patriarchy or, or, or the way, a very a vertical way of, of directing. I I think doubt is wonderful because I think in the film, I tried that Ines all the time and the, the spectator would be doubting, wouldn't be sure of what was really happening. And this is very anguishing and it's very harsh because it's it's all and now with the pandemic and everything it's something that we are all the time experiencing and, and we don't like it but really i think we should stop being <laughs> afraid of this because it's also what what allows you to reinvent yourself it allows you to when you when you can doubt it's the first thing to 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 think a different alternative to allow a different reality to take place well, I do so believe that me, movies uh, teach you how to watch them. You know, you, it, it, so your movie teaches you how to watch it because it prepares you to be ready for kind of anything to possibly happen. Does that make sense? I think it, it yes. I don't know, Erika. <laughs> no, no, I don't know if I understand. <laughs> well, Erika, can I ask you how you prepared for this role? I mean, how do you, I mean, I know your, your character is a, uh, you know, a voice uh, artist, a voice actor, and she's in a choir. Were those things that you researched? Yes, yes. I have a, I had a um, two or three um, teachers of, uh, um, I, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, uh, vo voice uh, dubbing. Voice yeah, dubbing, yeah. Yes, and, and yes, and and lyrical voice for have this kind of voices and it was very interesting to 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 know that women that are always working with her voices and and i don't know for me it was something in my body you know in something in my body that changed every time and and it that's something that changed for me to uh, in my life in my own life um, in and in respect about the sound too that is a very interesting dimension and my voice there and to, to have something there and to to uh, can play with this can can understand that probably we are not only that are talking uh, probably we are talking with another voices of our 
I don't know, families or uh, our, I don't know, you know, our love to our lover and these kind of things that uh, something like a ghost uh, um, be in you, in your body. And that's something interesting idea to, to I don't know, to feel, to, to live. Um, I don't know. That's something that, and 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 I I I I um, learned um, these kind of things with women, and we we talk too much with all the actors and actresses, um, and we rehearsal. Um, and and this in, in this um, in this dimension that um, Daniel says that um, we all are ghosts, and uh, I feel that Ines probably is a ghost too, probably mm -hmm. because she's <laughs> one of us, you know, and she she wanted to to love this kind of that, you know, this kind of no um, reality way of life i don't know no sé si lo estoy diciendo bien sorry no i mean mm -hmm. natalia do you feel like you made a movie about actors i mean this movie makes you think this is what actors have to deal with all the time an intruder somebody who isn't them being inside them did you make a movie about actors <laughs> in, a, in a way in in a way i think actors have an advantage to, for the, 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 before the uh, against the rest of us, because they this idea of being able to to uh, think about different realities and to to live them and to like in a way share your body, share your your soul, your mind with and and let some someone in is something actors are 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 able to do easily and I, I realized this immediately because when I told the story to them for them it was so natural and other people you know like were were thinking about it oh this is this is strange but 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 actors really understand and i think this is what makes them the, so intelligent too and, and then how i want to know how you approached the sound in the movie because it's such an important part of, of, of this <laughs> of this film so talk about how you approached it not just in the story but the filmmaking, how you did sound. Uh, I, I realized it was very important because it, I think it's the way in which you can think how fantasy operates. Like it's, you, you, you think about words, you think about sounds and how they bring reality in. Uh, and and this, this, this idea of sound being so, uh, in a way, incorporeal, it's, it's much more easier to understand how an idea can, can become real from the point of view of sound. So this was important. Also for me, it was very emblematic uh, uh, regarding a woman's voice because uh, Erica's voice changes also when she talks throughout the movie, not only when she sings. And this idea that she has to be, to fulfill this feminine idea of the soprano and then being able to sing with her voice, her new voice, whatever, mm -hmm. That might be, and 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 that that is something she she can share, and she can sing in the choir, and 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 let her voice lead with this new voice was was very important. So sound had, had a lot of different layers, and then we had the organ, uh, which was like another protagonist, and all the <laughs> the sound of the organ um, are um, are like in the movie. You know, it, they are they are they are used for. For a lot of scenes, where, for example, the sound of the airplane has a tuba, and there's there's a lot of work in this sense, and then there's a lot, there was a lot of work in dubbing, in using uh, a lot of um, text said by other actors and mixed with 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 what Erica was was going to say, for example, mainly. Uh, so this was this was very hard to do, and it was, uh, and we had to think a, a lot about it for it not to be too obvious. Uh, but I think the, the effect uh, in, as a whole uh, is, is perceptible. 
Daniel, Erica, did you get the sense on the movie set that the sound was, I mean, were, were, were certain sounds being played for certain scenes or did you not always hear what the character was hearing? No. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Because I am I an actress that love to dub. I love to dub. <laughs> so for me, it was very, very, very natural to, to think about uh, this is going to, to be dubbed. Se dice doblar, dubbed? No. Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, <coughs> And so I I left the th some things to that moment of post production, and that was very interesting for me because I like to do that because I think that the sound technicians are so important and, and I like to play to play <laughs> with them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Natalia, do organ tuners really think that body temperature can yes. change the pipes? Yes. Do they really think that? Yes, they were really strict. You know, when I went to see the organ at first, I had this idea that, that Erica was going to be a choir singer. In the, in the book, it's totally different. She has a restaurant. Uh, and then I said, who the, the, the co-protagonist, who, who can he be? And I thought about an organ, and I thought... I had a very relative, a very, I, I didn't know about this. And, and then I realized it, it's a whole like building, a small building, uh, 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 an organ. It's, it's really wonderful. It's, it's really magical. Uh, but I didn't know anything about it. I, I worked a lot with the tuners and it was very difficult because we decided to, to shoot really inside the, the organ of the, of the CCK, of the, the orchestra. Um, uh, here in, in Buenos Aires, in the symphonic, uh, uh, in the Sala Sinfonica. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and so they didn't allow us to, to have like four of, more than four or five people inside the, the, the set. It was really different, difficult. And, and body temperature was <laughs> one of the issues. And <laughs> yes, amongst others, it, it was quite difficult. We had to, this was one of the most difficult decisions in the film. If we had to, if we were going to reconstruct or we were going to use uh, the actual set. And we decided, for me, there were a lot of things that it was important because of the theme that they would be real. Um, like the, like the, the organ, like the, the voices of the actors singing, like, uh, well, uh, the places, the, the, also the, the bats. <laughs> in the game. <laughs> the best, so yes. there were yes, there was there there were a lot of things which for me for for reasons that are like maybe difficult to understand from uh, the classical idea of of of, of using um, of construction in film that, that what what the film shows um, for me for me it was important to to keep them real and so we we filmed there and I think it was wonderful but they were always complaining about body temperature. <laughs> uh, Daniel, I want to know, does a movie, making a movie like this, does it make you think of dreams differently? Probably. Uh, for me, it's very difficult to, to remember the, the dreams, my dreams, but uh, I have the sensation that uh, the, the movie is about that. Is, uh, I think is when you are uh, awaking and you are trying to to catch to uh, the 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 dream and you can't and this sensation of of looking for that I think this is the the movie you are all the time trying to to understand and and uh, what what I think Natalia what what the, the great work uh, she she did is is uh, the coexistence between those different levels and layers. Uh, she, this ambiguous, uh, ambiguous um, sensation continuously that you, are, you don't know if you are uh, understanding 
the reality or the dream. So I think this affect me, of course, in a very interesting way. Erica, at the end of the movie, um, Inez, we, we've watched Inez go through a lot. At the end, though, she looks happy. I mean, she looks ready <laughs> to, 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 to kind of move on. Can you talk about shooting that, that end? And, and maybe, Natalia, also you talk about the musical quality of that ending? <laughs> you first, I, uh, Erica. You go first, Erica. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to say that uh, the the women of of chor chorus, no, of the yes. chorus, yes. the choir, uh, the choir. Sorry, the choir uh, are amazing. Are mm -hmm. are totally amazing, and we laughed so much, and we we were so so happy to be there, and. And that that's something that you know, Ines is always with this doubt about the reality or the dreams and, and having this kind of perception and that probably she's crazy or not, and she's and in the end, I think that is something that appears very strong like because she is an artist she this movie is about um uh, um the process of to be to to do a a, a, a an art something um, something like that you know we we always are with that with 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 dreams um Mm, to make something, you know, to make something of art, and this is another another dimension of Ines to, for me, um, to be in in that process. And in the end, we in, we feel that that she is happy to to get that, to 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 make that, to make finally that. You know this this um, art and with her own voice and that's amazing. It was wonderful to shoot that. <laughs> Natalia, do you want to talk about how you uh, conceived that ending? Well, we we really thought about it while we were. Filming, we, we I, I already knew I wanted to to have the ending like this, but a lot of the details uh, we were deciding uh, during during the the process while we were while we were shooting. It was quite difficult, we, and and I really didn't know what what how 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 it was going to go in that last scene, and and I always <laughs> always remember that that the the take that finally. Uh, is on the film is Erica's take because it was she she she, she was the one who, who who had this idea and I think it's it's wonderful. I was very worried and then when I saw it in the editing, so this is really much much better. Uh, so I'm 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 really happy we did it this this way and 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 about all the the discussions and conversations and uh, that that we had during while shooting so this this was wonderful and then i think it's a, it's a happy ending in a different way it's not you know so, so easy to you, you can reflect about it and i think there's a lot to to think about it it's not just simply a happy ending i think yes definitely there's something about the fulfillment of desire there's something about uh reconciling with love which is so 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 difficult in present times and there is this idea that that we we don't have to we don't have to necessarily give up love the, or the idea of love we can just think about reinvent it in a way and and then i i think it's a very joyous and 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 joy joyful ending in in this sense i think it's i i'm i'm very happy to have been able to to change the, the ending of a, of a, what you would traditionally find in a horror film when something like this when a, when a, when when something like possession happens I think it's important to say 
the, this idea that a woman can decide if she wants to let someone in or not, <laughs> and when and and where and why. <laughs> and I think I think this is an, a very beautiful and uh, and that it's, it's important to have stories that end in 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 a different way. For us. I, I wholeheartedly agree. I feel like it, it, that's the it's an ending that that makes you rethink every idea of possession movies and what they're supposed to tell you and and the idea that she's not maybe not cured at the end maybe she's liberated by what's possessed her so um that's kind of great uh and i just want to say thank you all for for um for uh, joining us to talk about this movie natalia erica and daniel and um for sharing your thoughts and the experiences um thank you thank you thank you and then thank, thank everyone having. else for um being here for this envelope live screening series and well, we hope to see you again soon. Well, we Ta hope.